Breaking news tonight out of the BNP Paribas Open. As expected, world number two Novak Djokovic has withdrawn from this year's tournament over his vaccination status. News Channel 3 Sports Director Blake Arthur is live in Indian Wells tonight with more now on this big but expected news. Blake. Yeah, guys, thank you. It wasn't a matter of if, but just when this would happen. This was all expected. We knew it was going to happen. Novak Djokovic not going to be here at the BNP Paribas Open, forced to withdraw because of his vaccination status. He actually confirmed this on his Twitter today, saying, quote, while I was automatically listed in the BNP Paribas Open and Miami Open draw, I knew it would be unlikely I'd be able to travel. The CDC has confirmed that regulations won't be changing, so I won't be able to play in the U.S. Good luck to those playing in these great tournaments. Now, Grigor Dimitrov will move into Djokovic's space in the draw, and a lucky loser from qualifying will move into Dimitrov's space in the draw once qualifying is complete. So, kind of knew it was going to happen. No surprise here, and it's time now to bring in Bailey Arredondo. Bailey, how you doing? Uh, no other place I'd rather be, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> you love tennis. You know tennis. This is truly tennis paradise for you, but also the players. Right, and this is really what I like to call warm-up week. Warm up week. Players getting acclimated, getting in that desert rhythm. But as you can look in the scenery, everyone's just happy to be here. And it was media day today, not on Zoom, but in person. How about that? <laughs> no more virtual stuff, in person, face-to-face. -face. Love seeing that. Yeah, it was nice to see the glow on these players. And we got, got to hear from defending champ Paula Badosa and 2018 champ Naomi Osaka. We found out why these players like the garden so much for not only just them, but also for their furry friends. Last time I was here, with it, I was with the trophy, so uh, I have good memories. Uh, no, I'm very happy to be back here. I'm, I really like to play here in Indian Wells, so I'm really looking forward to start on Saturday. For me, Indian Wells in Miami is like a sort of refreshing period. Um, and I also consider it like a, a dog haven. Uh, I remember seeing like Venus and uh, Wozniacki's dogs always like running around. So I don't know, I always find that quite cute. So I wanted to bring Butter out here because um, I was sure he was going to enjoy it. <laughs> and he does a lot. Yeah, yeah, Butter, not Butter. <laughs> All right, thanks for the clarification on that. <laughs> but, Blake, as you can tell, these players just love the scenery, love the atmosphere, and we're going to hear from a few more of them, too, coming up at 6. Yeah, Daniil Medvedev, world number one on the men's side, Russian player, 26 years old, going to address the media at 6 o'clock. So we'll have much more later tonight at 6 and then later tonight at 10 and 11. For Bailey Ardano, Blake Arthur, News Channel 3.